Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and I am here to do an empties video. Now, I have been wanting to film this video for a long time. I've had all of these products literally sitting in a box in my room for the longest time. So, I'm going to not be very descriptive in this empties video because I have so many products to review. I'm going to start off with beauty products and then end with candles. So, the first beauty product that I finished up was the Paracone MD Face Finishing Moisturizer, and it looks like this. Now, this was a great moisturizer, and um, there's literally like the tiniest drop left. Um, it smells great, and literally your face feels like satin when you're finished using this product. It's absolutely amazing. After I wash my face, put this moisturizer on, it's amazing. Um, it's kind of expensive, but... Um, I'm probably going to purchase the full size on QVC once I finish some other moisturizers I'm going to use. Up. Next, I finished one of the Smart Soaps from Bath & Body Works. This one was the one in Strawberry Hibiscus. This was nice. I mean, it was just a soap. I finished one of the When Replenishing Treatment Mists. This was actually one that I purchased through the Guthy Ranker um, When thing. And this one is in the sweet almond mint and it's nice I mean I love it it's just like uh, just there's a few more sprays left oh, that's it okay it was nice it just really refreshes your hair throughout the day I always keep one in my bag I finished a purity made simple face wash from philosophy and this is in the 16 ounce this is a one-step facial cleanser it cleanses it tones it removes makeup it's absolutely oh, almost dropped it it's absolutely an incredible product I love it for a face wash, it just leaves your skin so hydrated. I finished a hand wash in lavender from Crabtree and Evelyn. It looks like that. Um, it was just an average hand wash. I mean, it wasn't anything super, super, super special. And um, it was just a hand wash. It was okay. Now on to the worst product of the empties video. I hate, 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 hate this hand cream with a passion. I was so excited to get rid of it because it literally was awful. This is the Almond Hand and Nail Cream from the Body Shop. It looks like this and it was used with my uh, tube bringer. That's why it looks so flat. Um, I would only use this at night because literally even the tiniest drop would leave your hands super, super, super greasy. And I don't want that in a hand cream. So this is going right in the garbage and never being purchased again. I finished up another hand cream that was okay. It was it still left your hands greasy, but not as greasy as that. This is the Clinique Water Therapy Moisture Glove Infused Hand Cream. This was okay. Like I said, I was happy I only had a small size. This I could use during the day, but I also needed to use it. Um, I could use it at night, too. This was strictly at night because it left your hands so greasy. It was awful. But anyway... This product is just um, average. I still love the L'Occitane hand creams the best. I finished up the Divine Serum from L'Occitane. Looks like that. This was a, just a sample size. This was a very nice serum. It, again, left my skin really, really, really soft after using it. I would use this morning and night till it was gone. It was awesome. I finished the Pure Seduction Cleansing Shower and Bath Oil from Victoria's Secret. Now, I was not a huge, huge, huge fan of this because it was just, it didn't lather up as much as I would hope it would, and it was super, super oily. Now, I know it is a shower oil, but it was just too oily. I didn't like it. I finished up a um, Coconut Lime Breeze Creamy Body Wash. I cut it in half, but it's the Coconut Lime Breeze Creamy Body Wash from... Bath and Body Works, and this was okay. I used this to shave my legs with, and um, it got the job done. The next product is the L'Occitane Repairing Shampoo. Now, I really love this shampoo, but I actually finished this up before I used when, and I literally found this empty bottle. So, um, I don't use shampoo anymore. I only use when, so I can't do much about that then. I finished another moisturizer, and this one's from L'Occitane. This is the L'Occitane Immortel Precious Cream. And this product was amazing. It was 
Now again, it smelled awesome. I love this little glass container. I wouldn't have any use for it, so it's going in the recycling bin. But it's just really adorable. Um, this was a non-greasy moisturizer that just was just like a traditional moisturizer. Nothing too special, but it was a great one. I finished up, this wouldn't be one of my empties video if I didn't finish any fresh cream products, so I finished another body lotion, as well as a little 8-ounce shower gel. This stuff is amazing. I've talked about it many, 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 many times. It was great. I finished up from the body shop. This is the Honey Mania Bubble Bath Melt. Now, this is an amazing product, but it's also a very interesting product. What this is... Oh, it still smells like it. It will almost look like you open up a bottle of bubble bath and poured it in this container, and that's how you bought it like that. But whenever you open it up, that's what it looks like. But if you literally take your fingers, hold it, and lift it up, it literally changes formulation. It's like a hard slap soft. It's really, really interesting. And I just literally poured a little bit. How many times did I say literally in that second sentence? Poured it in, and it left my um, skin super 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 hydrated when I got out of the shower and it left a ton of bubbles in the tub. I finished the Batiste dry shampoo. This is almost like the one replenishing treatment mist. Just spray it in your hair. It com combats the oil and stuff. But um, I like it. Now on to the candles and stuff. I finished. I'll do these two since there's not much to talk about. These are the automatic spray refills from Glade. I actually have one of these in my downstairs bathroom because nobody really uses that bathroom and I just leave it there just to have it. Um, this is the Live Loud, which is Rosehip and Plumeria. And this one is the Lift Off, which is White Tea and Magnolia. These were okay. I mean, wow, that really changed like the lighting in my room. But anyway, these were okay. They weren't anything to write home about. They just smelled up my bathroom. I finished a tart from Vintage Chic Scents. And I finished it in my funny valentine and this was a mix of rose jam and lemon i believe and it's it's awesome it's like a lemony rose scent it's awesome i finished unscented white votives from party light there's not much to talk about with those um this is a candle that i got from a candle company and i have not posted my review yet because i wanted to burn through a whole one other candles to see so um this is from light the night candle company this is in wine tasting called Red Wine. As you can see, it burned clean all the way down, so obviously you'll think my review is positive, because it is. But um, when I do post the review about it, I will link it down below. I finished two Yankee Candles. I finished Apple Spice in the large jar, and this burned very cleanly for me and super, super, super strong. It smells just like an apple cider donut. I finished Orange Splash, which is a United Kingdom Yankee Candle in the large jar. It left a couple little rings, but other than that, it was a pretty clean burning jar. Average scent, I could smell it here and there. I just popped these into the garage wallflowers, so I can't say much about them now. These are the Cranberry Parabellini wallflowers. I love their wallflowers. Now onto the, oh, one more. I have this from Pink Tea Candles. This is Pink Paradise. I wrote a review about their candles. This is a two-wick. It burned clean all the way down. Very nice scent throw. Not super strong, but just enough to scent up the room. But again, it burned really cleanly for me. Now onto Bath and Body Works candles. None, not many are new. I finished Watermelon Lemonade from the new Summer Sips line. This took absolutely forever to burn because the burn was so low and so terrible. <laughs> And the scent throw wasn't all that strong either. I finished pumpkin carrot cake from two years ago, or from last year as a test scent. It was a nice, it was, smells like smoke right there. Ooh. I finished wild poppies, which was very floral and creamy. It was okay. I finished almost all of that. Um, the, what is this range called? I don't remember. This one is rainforest sugar cane. This one is pineapple palm grass. This is black sands. And I know what you all are thinking. Yes, I will talk about what this little thing is later. Island waters. That's why I want to get through this empties video. Hawaiian hibiscus. 
Homemade cookies. One of my favorites. One of my other favorites from the old days. Kitchen Spice. And last but not least, it smells like Fruit Loops, Trek cereal, whatever you want to call it. It just reminds me of Zach from Big Brother now every time that I smell this because of Fruit Loop Dingus. This is Blueberry Pumpkin Patch. And it smells just like tricks. Their candles are hit and miss, you know. You don't really know what you're getting when you buy one of their candles. Except a, well, except a physical candle. Okay, so I have wanted a tattoo for three to five years now. And I've wanted Defy Gravity on my wrist. I've always wanted it right here on my wrist. Well, I wanted it across to begin with. But I always wanted one. And there's meaning behind it besides just the song, but I'm not going to get into all that. Um, anyway, I've always wanted one, and finally, I'm, like, petrified of shots for one, so that's why I was very lenient about, or ner I always say lenient, very leery of getting one. But I decided how bad, honestly, can it be? So I made my appointment, I went, and it took 20 minutes, and I literally had my arm sitting right here, didn't tense up or anything, and it was over. I could not believe it. It felt like when you're at the dentist and you get Novocaine in your mouth, and it's like that horrible pinch. That's what it felt like the whole way. Now, it's hard to see on camera. This is the only way I can show you is upside down because I can't flip my arm that way. But it says Defy Gravity which uh, with a witch's hat as well as a little star, which everything is from the musical Wicked. I guess I can show you like this. Here it is. It says Defy Gravity. It's still healing because I got it two weeks ago, so it's still in the healing process. But other than that, I really, really like it. It will be now in my videos forever and ever and ever, right there on my wrist to tell me the meaning that it has behind it. But anyway, if you're against tattoos, that's good for you. If you're for tattoos, that's great for you. Um, I really don't care if you don't like tattoos, and you can tell me all you want that I look like trash, that I'm going to regret it when I'm older. Guess what? I wanted it, I got it, and there's nothing you in the internet can do about it. I'm sorry, that's kind of mean, but it's true. I don't need you commenting on your computer saying, oh, what's wrong with him, you know, why would he get a tattoo, or anything. I don't care what you say, okay? It's there, there's nothing I can do. There's nothing you could do that changes my mind. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye!